Okay, for this one, I wanted to make another little video clip. Hopefully you're finding these and clicking on them. Think of them as your learning Easter egg. Um, historians argued that the alliance system in World War One made war more likely. Generally, when you have an alliance system, when you're allied with people, they don't want to fight you as much. So um, it's really counterintuitive, but it is true. The defense agreement or alliance made war more likely because a conflict between two countries more easily led to a conflict between many countries. Consider, like, if you've ever seen people inner tubing. When they link up, if there's three or four or five people, once one person goes over the waterfall, they all go. In the same way, once one person had a conflict with one other person, a fight between two becomes a fight between many. Here, a conflict between two countries can easily suck in all the countries. Okay. On this visual here on the bottom, you'll see that the Italians, Austro-Hungarians, and Germans had an alliance really that goes back to the 19th century, um, a good, you know, 30-something years before War One started. And eventually the Ottoman Empire and the Bulgarians um, and Serbians are kind of at the heart of causing the war. Um, the Russians, French, and the British created their own alliance a little later, a good 10, 15 years later, but well before the war started, as you see in, in this visual. Um, really, the conflict between the Serbians and the Austro-Hungarians dragged everyone else into this conflict. Um, but if you look carefully at the visual on the bottom left, you will see that the countries are shown here. See the one with the pointy helmet? That's called the Piccolob. I'm not sure exactly how to spell it, but I know that helmet. He's always a German World War I guy, and they're right in the middle of it. The French guy's on the bottom. Can I tell he's got the French Foreign Legion hat? Um, I think that's a French guy, but it's definitely a French, I think there's a French gal crying in the corner. She felt that left out. But then you see the French are allied with the British. So the top hat and the belly and the British Union Jack flag. The Russians are part of that alliance too on the outside, as you see the bear. The bear is usually the Russians. And then you see the people with the Fez, that's the Ottoman Turks. They're lined up with the Germans, who was also connected to Austro-Hungarians. All right. So if you look on the next slide, uh, it'll show you how the problem of World War I alliances that do a problem between many. And really a, con a, a problem between this small country, Serbia is purposely small here, and their issue with Austria led to an issue with the bigger country, Russia, which led to a conflict between a bigger country, Germany, which eventually dragged the French, and of course the British into the fight. Go ahead and stop the video, turn to the next slide and answer the question. You get stuck, refer back to my explanation. Notice the pickle up again, the Russian, I forget what you call the fur cap, but that fur cap is totally Russian. The British top hat again, the French foreign legion looking at. Yeah. 